Right now as it stands, my Valorant account is worth $2,047. And that's quite a lot of money. And while this isn't supposed to be a flex, it raises the question, what if somebody were to just steal my account? How easy would that be for somebody? Now you might be telling yourself, well, our accounts are safe because of two-step authentication, where when somebody tries to sign into your account, the account holder will get a text message with a code authenticating them to sign in, which is the standard practice in today's online world, just as an added layer of protection in the event that your info is compromised. And with that standard sentiment in mind, you may think that we have quite a bit of protection against somebody trying to fish our accounts from us. However, you may be shocked to find out that Valorant right now does not have two-step authentication. And at any given time, all of our accounts, all of our skins, all of our progress towards leveling up, towards ranking up and competitive, they're all at stake. They're all in danger because of Riot's lack of security. I'm your guy, Justin, and today I want to talk about Valorant's missing feature. In this video, I'm going to discuss Valorant's lack of a security feature to protect our accounts and how moving forward, we may or may not get one. I'm also going to discuss with you the very limited ways that we have to protect our accounts and just a general rule of thumb to keep your accounts safe so that way you can keep on gaming and more importantly, hold on to your skins. To start today's video off, we must first begin with the horror stories that you've all probably heard. You one day go to sign in to whatever it may be, whether it be a social media or an online game, only to find out that you've entered in your password wrong. And after attempting to sign into it again, you only then realize that your password is just not working because your account has been compromised. Specifically, we're talking about Valorant today, and this is a real thing that happens. And what inspired this video is a comment that I got where this person told me that one day while playing on Valorant, they received a friend request from somebody that they hadn't played with before. So they decided to add them. And to their surprise, they received a DM telling them their password and their username. And horrifyingly enough, both the password and username were absolutely correct. When whispered this, the person replied saying, how do you know my info? Only to find out that somebody overseas in Eastern Asia had bought their account and that there are websites that exist overseas where you can specifically buy accounts based off of rank and skins. And that this person had bought the account and decided to send a whisper to it to see if anybody had actually still used it, knowing that the website sold stolen accounts. And while this story is particularly scary, apparently from what I've been told and from what I've researched for this video, that this is a reoccurring thing that happens a lot overseas. There are tons of websites that specialize in selling stolen accounts. Their entire market is funded upon selling accounts that were stolen. And from what I can tell, it mostly just goes unchecked, but more so goes unchecked when you factor in that Valorant does not have a two-step verification. And I believe that in 2021, Valorant not having 2FA is an absolute failure to us, the consumer. Two-step verification is the standard in the online world today. While there isn't anything that we can do to combat entirely the issue of our information being stolen and our accounts being stolen, what we have left to rely on is the layers of security that we are given. The more things we have to fall back on, the more secure our accounts are. And you can't leave it up to just having a really strong password the way that Valorant does. In fact, specifically on Riot's website, this is what it tells you to do to keep your account quote unquote safe. On their direct website to protect your account, they recommend to us the consumer to choose a secure password, use a password manager, protect your email account, log off in shared spaces, don't share your Riot account, and beware of phishing attempts. Otherwise known as you're on your own. And it's just really wild to me that a corporation as big as Riot would not have two-step authentication, especially on a game like Valorant, where the competitive integrity is so important and people would be lining up to buy accounts that have high ranks that are stolen, as well as buying accounts that are worth thousands of dollars like mine. And those two don't coincide with account security. Having an account that's worth money or that's a high rank doesn't mean that those two groups of people are the only people who are worthy of having secure accounts. Every account should be secure regardless of what is on it. And without two-step authentication, authentication or something, none of our accounts are truly secure. And with that being the case, it's not a matter of how we can protect ourselves, but it's more of a matter of when will our accounts be compromised, which truly it is that way anyways. It's life, it's planet earth. And at a certain point, everybody will have their account stolen or at least the attempt of having it stolen will happen. And as a matter of fact, the amount of successful phishing attempts doubled from 100,000 to over 200,000 in 2019 to 2020, according to the FBI. And it's also estimated that once every 100 emails that you receive, there will be a phishing email in there. It is also not to mention that every single day, scammers and bad people are coming up with new and innovative ways to steal your passwords, to log into your accounts, to phish your accounts, and to just ultimately win the battle. And these small lines of defense that we have, like two-step authentication are the only thing that we have to fall back on. If your password is compromised, then at the very least, you have the cushion to fall back on that two-step authentication will buy you some time to retrieve your account, if not outright stop the person trying to get into your account. 
And this is all just kind of really scary to me, but also intriguing and enlightening. So that way I can make this video for you guys to also kind of share that sentiment with you. And moving forward, I would like to talk about little things that we can do right now to just keep us a little bit more safe. And while it's not much, it is something that I can offer to you. I recommend making sure that the antivirus on your computer is up to date and is safe itself. Make sure that your antivirus is from a reputable source so you can protect yourself from malware, which is something that's used to get your data. Make sure that your password on every single account, social media, and game is unique. Don't just make it be a word with numbers make it be something entirely unique and as random as possible including numbers characters interchanging caps and symbols and if you're afraid of forgetting it just write it down it takes one second to write down your password this should go without saying but i do know that a lot of people try to share accounts if not just buy accounts like we heard earlier in the video that's against the terms of service at least for valorant i don't know how it goes with their other games but do not share your account or buy an account from somebody do not try to sell your account you risk getting banned but more so, you risk getting scammed. Those are the two things you wanna avoid at all times, getting banned and getting scammed. So if you have somebody that you just met, or maybe it's like a friend or whatever, don't share your account with them. It's not worth it. If they want your skins or whatever, just drop it for them. It's that simple. Never give your account away to anybody. And these are things moving forward that I hope to see. A newer line of security that exists now is that there are tokens that you can have randomly generated, which are small codes, which is sort of like two-step authentication, that are constantly changing that you need to log into your accounts. Discord has this as an option, and a lot of people use it because when you go to sign into Discord, you enter in your password, you have two-step authentication, and then on top of that, you have the additional layer of security where you have a randomly generated code that only you have access to on your phone that's constantly changing. That's three layers of security that somebody would have to get through. And that's something that I hope to see on Riot, as well as them getting two-step authentication. We're not asking for the whole shebang with security, we just want the bare minimum. And this isn't meant to be a call-out post for Riot. I'm totally still in love with the game. It is amazing. Everything about it is great. I would just like to feel more safe. And I know that a lot of you collectors out there would also like to feel more safe in regards to having your awesome accounts with your collections and above all just try to avoid phishing attempts it's really complicated because they are really crafty you will get emails that look like they're actually from the official source of whoever it's supposed to be from honestly i would say just avoid all of it if anything ever wants you to sign in directly through your email and you're not already signed in just avoid it pretty much a safe policy and yeah we really don't have too much tools to protect us against the bad guys Cybersecurity is a incredibly complicated thing that has no solution at least not yet and all we can do is just kind of keep our wits about ourselves and not be afraid of this this video is not meant to scare anybody or be like a fear-mongering kind of thing i am a huge proprietor of the myth of our data being safe privacy is the biggest and worst kept myth on the entire internet and while i do believe that this does just come down to when and how much layers of security that we have to protect ourselves it's also not not a reason to be afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of. Nobody overseas is going to hurt you. And in fact, I've heard that Riot support tickets are actually really good for getting your accounts back if they are stolen. As well, Riot has actually just announced that they have a new app coming out for their phones, or at least an updated version of an app that I think might have already existed for League. And I think it's been rehauled to also include Valorant. I'm not quite sure on that. You might have to do some research about it. It pretty much just allows you to talk to your friends and to look at stats and to maybe look at your rotating store on Valorant. But my biggest hope is, is that when they launch this app, it's going to be a platform for them to make two-step authentication be a thing on it but who knows we'll see and yeah that's pretty much all i have to say for the video i hope that all of you stay safe and keep your account safe you deserve the peace of mind regardless of what's on your account and i love you guys and as always i'm justin and you're not like the video subscribe if you're new and click the bell for notifications so you do not miss a video and i'll see you guys in the next one